This economy has been especially tough on schools. Yes, you can imagine how amazed the principal at Pat Diskin Elementary was when a group of local leaders volunteered to raise $80,000 for her school. Even more of a shocker, they raised $115,000 in just 10 days. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Alex Valle spent the day at the school. Joins us now with a little bit more on all this. What a nice surprise. Yeah, Dave, in just 10 days, the school got a complete makeover. A group of 40 local leaders says when they realized about 70% of students at Pat Diskin Elementary live below the poverty level, they knew they had to help. We don't have a lot of equipment, and those equipment help us learn. Build it, and they will come. That's Principal Elizabeth Smith's philosophy at Pat Diskin Elementary. My belief is that in order for kids to do well, we need to make sure that their basic needs are satisfied. About two weeks after class started, a group from Choice Center Leadership Training came to her and said they wanted to support her students by raising $80,000 in 10 days. What was your reaction to getting that type of proposal? Wow. <laughs> it took a lot of phone calls and many sleepless nights, but the group managed to create a parent resource center. It's a place here at the school where families can use computers, ask questions, or attend free English classes. They also donated clothes, food, and $11,000 for school supplies. Vicki Harper joined the team because she wanted to learn how to make a difference in her community. I, I look back at my life and the life that, that my children and now my grandson has, and and I wanted to give a little bit of that to some of the children who do not. Harper and others in the group say it may have ended in an ice cream party for the kids, but it was a lesson for them that true leadership means changing lives one child at a time. The group says even in these tough economic times, they were shocked at how many companies still donated and how many people still volunteered the time. The school says all of the food and clothes will go to children who live below the poverty line. Paula. Great story, Alex. Thank you.